Hi right guys, this is Nemesis 6001 and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a quick, a quick tutorial on how to fix Battlefield 3 on Origin. Now, what happened for me was, whenever I would try and play this game, you know, I downloaded it, it took me about 20 hours, because I don't know why. Um, hit play, and it would be all good, it would be loaded and that, and then it would come up with this little box, uh, you know, quite a small box, just like that, and it would say, like, EA error missing DLL and then it would come up with the error code of 0x000000c1 C1. so that's six zeros, a C and then a 1 um, I'll put that in the description as well so you can look at it and make sure that you've got in the right error code as well and um, I managed to fix it uh, with the help of some internet thing that I managed to find and EA just don't actually seem to know how to fix their own problems which is a bit dodgy but you know whatever so what you want to do to start off with is just close origin completely just to be on the safe side so go down to here right click it exit until that little icon goes and then you've properly exited it exited it um, then what you want to do is you want to make a new folder on your desktop and call it whatever you want it really doesn't matter so yeah I'm just gonna leave it as a new file too just for now then what you want to do is you want to go to start computer so you're on this, you can do it any other way, just as long as you get to the same file as I do, it really doesn't matter. Go onto your local disk. Now for 64, for a 64 bit running system, it will be in programs a, uh, x86, but for 32, I think it might be, I think it's in just normal program files. Anyway, go onto this and then find Origin. There it is, there's Origin and then Origin Games. Click on Origin Games. Then it lists your games, go to Battlefield 3. Then it's listing all this stuff, go to the installer then DirectX and then to Redist or whatever the hell that says and I'll come up with all of these WinRAR files all of these you can also use what's it called what's it called 7-zip uh, I'm guessing it's the same basically the same program just a bit different but I'm guessing you can use that uh, to make it easier if you just come up to the search file and then type in cab then that should just list all of the um, WinRAR files like that then what you want to do is you want to scroll over all of them so they're all selected um, right click on them and then extract files there's quite a lot of things here make sure you hit extract files then go to phone oh what have I done uh, go, yeah go to the folder that you made obviously mine's new, fol uh, new folder 2 and then just click extract there and then when this comes up because it most likely will just hit yes to all and then let that do its thing I'm not sure how good the quality is going to be on this because I'm not using a very good bit of kit. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to... I'll be back in one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to split up the recording there. Uh, okay, so we've just extracted all the files into the file that you made in your desktop. Uh, so we can close this now and go into here. Um, yes, okay. I don't really know why they're there. Or should they be there? I don't know. Anywho, uh, you've got all these files in here and there is an absolute shit ton of them and there's also some of those. You don't need to worry about those. Um, if you want to organise this by type, which I think I've already done. Yes, I've already done that. Um, so that's organised by type. Then you can just drag this to the side for now and then go back to your computer folder and then into your local disk wherever all of your things are set up. Then this time you want to go to Windows and then scroll all the way down to uh, system uh, syswow 64 and you want to open that and there's an ungodly amount of files in there and you just want to drag that to the side again and then when we get to this part once both of these files are open you only want to highlight the DLL files which are listed there so DLL only those you don't need anything else just those and then just highlight all of those uh, obviously not getting anything else so as you can see they're all highlighted then you can copy you can cut or copy it doesn't matter I'm just gonna copy it then you take it over to your system wow 64 or whatever that actually means and then paste it I've obviously already done this so I'm going to cancel this but you obviously I think it will probably come up with some your one will come up with the same thing but you want to hit like replace all you want to I'll show you hang on uh, paste. You want to tick this box here, do this for the next 101 things, because I think, if I remember correctly, that will come up as well, and then just hit copy and replace this one here. Make sure you do that. I'm not going to, just because I don't want to fuck around with my system anymore. And then 
once that's once all that magic's done, you can close that, close that, reload Origin, reload Origin. There we go. Give it a minute. There we go. Okay, then you just want to go onto my games and then play. Now, now the box shouldn't come up. It should take you to your browser. This is a bit different for most games because EA decided to be different. But yeah, then it should take you straight to their website. If you're here, you're pretty much done. You're pretty much good to go. Click on the campaign, co-op play, or quick match. There's obviously multiplayer. And then you click uh, quick match, and then this little thing here will come up. Just leave that to do its thing, and then it will find you a game. And Battlefield will load up down here, or, you know, obviously next the next one in line. You just want to click on that. And then wait, you're in the game then. I tested it out with my story mode campaign. I played a little bit of that first. It worked fine. It w works all fine after this and everything. The files just must not have been extracted properly to wherever they needed to go. Or they were corrupted along the way and they can't be fixed. But I hope this helped you guys. Because um, it was really annoying me. And I'm sure it was very annoying you as well. Because you, know, you buy a game and you don't want to have to sit there for hours on end trying to fix it because you shouldn't have to you bought this game for uh just to you know sit down and play it and relax you don't want to be working so i hope this helped you guys um if it did help you give it a like and share it out any way you can really just so everyone else who has this problem can see it as well because there is literally no help anywhere else really i haven't seen they've always told you to like do silly things that just never work so yeah i hope this helped you guys and i will see you in the next episode of whatever the hell i do